As the regular season begins to wind down, plenty of teams and players are starting to see the writing on the wall. That whoever's their current quarterback ain't gonna be there for much longer. When it comes to quarterbacks, Matt Corral remaining his QB1 there, headed to the Texans with third overall pick. Over the past few years, we've seen quite the quarterback carousel during the NFL offseason. And 2022 is shaping up to be no different. You can totally expect these 10 teams to have a new starting quarterback in 2022. The Seattle Seahawks Russell Wilson didn't want to flat out admit it, but it's pretty obvious that he wanted out of Seattle during the offseason. His agent, Mark Rogers, told ESPN that Wilson would consider trades to the New Orleans Saints, Dallas Cowboys, Chicago Bears, and Las Vegas Raiders. And the rumors resurfaced once again during the season, this time with the Saints, New York Giants, and Denver Broncos making Wilson's wish list. It's no surprise either. Think about it. If Wilson wanted out following a 12-win season and a division title in 2020, why would he want to stay amid the worst Seahawks season in the Pete Carroll era? This team is going nowhere, and Seattle has failed time and time again to construct a legitimate contender around Wilson in the post-Legion of Boom era. Seattle doesn't have a 2022 first-rounder because of the Jamal Adams trade. This is their chance to regain valuable capital, and a superstar QB like Wilson will easily fetch you multiple first-round picks, maybe even up to three. Wilson did his job and led Seattle to a Super Bowl. I mean, it should have been two rings, but anyways. Now you have to stop Marshawn Lynch. Here he goes, beast mode! Touchdown! Several teams, including the Saints, will have an incentive to sell the farm for a player like Wilson. It's time for Seattle to commence a rebuild by unloading their franchise star. No hard feelings, it's just the opportune time for both sides to part ways. New Orleans Saints before injuries mounted, the Saints had all the makings to be a dangerous playoff team in 2021. Jameis Winston wasn't spectacular by any means, but he was getting the job done for Sean Payton's team. That is, until he suffered a torn ACL in Week 8. There's always the chance that they give Winston another shot if he recovers in time, but you have to think Sean Payton is more likely to look for a healthier upgrade ahead of next season. Winston is solid. But is he the guy to get you to a Super Bowl? Probably not. And with Russell Wilson, Deshaun Watson, Jimmy Garoppolo, Teddy Bridgewater, and several other veteran QBs likely available this offseason, chances are New Orleans finds a replacement for Winston. Wilson should be priority number one, because he would make New Orleans a bona fide Super Bowl contender again. He'd get to play with two stars in Michael Thomas and Alvin Kamara, and don't forget about the top five offensive line and championship level defense, two things he does not have in Seattle right now. The Saints could also look for a QB in the 2022 draft. Draft, although it's not the strongest class for the game's most important position. The bottom line is that the Saints have proven they can still compete without Drew Brees. They just need a couple of more pieces on offense to reemerge as an NFC heavyweight once again. And it all starts with getting a new QB. I'm Latoya Cantrell, mayor of the city of New Orleans, and I know, Mr. Wilson, that you will be a great addition to the New Orleans Saints. And more importantly, I can see us in that number winning that Super Bowl championship once again. And what else I can see? The Mrs. Sierra Wilson herself on that main stage during the historical Essence Festival. Just wanted to stop in to let you know that we not only admire you, we, we want you. Pittsburgh Steelers. The Steelers decided to remain loyal to Ben Roethlisberger for one more year. And it hasn't exactly gone according to plan. Age and injuries have caught up to the two-time Super Bowl champion, who simply doesn't have the same physical tools that once made him a top five signal caller. You have to think Roethlisberger will be comfortable calling it quits after the 2021 season. But even if he does want to keep playing, the Steelers will surely move in another direction. Like the Saints, the Steelers boast an elite defense and several dynamic offensive weapons. They just need a better QB to lead the way now. The cap situation would make a Wilson or Watson trade difficult, but someone like Bridgewater, Garoppolo, or Winston might make sense. Or maybe they want to take a chance on a young, underachieving quarterback in need of a fresh start like Daniel Jones. Otherwise, the Steelers will be in a decent position to grab a quarterback in round one of the draft. 
Kenny Pickett or Malik Willis could be a nice fit in Steel Town. The main point is that it is definitely the end of the Roethlisberger era in Pittsburgh. And whether the organization likes it or not, they have no choice but to find a new QB to build the franchise around going forward. Carolina Panthers The Panthers gave up on Cam Newton after the 2019 season. They gave up on Bridgewater after one year. It took them barely half a season to give up on Sam Darnold. And Newton's return in 2021 hasn't provided the spark this offense needs. Can GM Scott Fitterer just find a quarterback who can run his offense already? Yeah, they could settle on a cheaper option like Jimmy G or Winston. But you've all heard the rumors about Deshaun Watson coming to Carolina. Considering that he played his college football at Clemson, you'd have to think the Texans quarterback would welcome a trade to Matt Rule's squad. Otherwise, Carolina should throw all the chips in the middle of the table and try to get Wilson. This team has to stop looking for average quarterbacks and actually swing for the fences. But of course, that's easier said than done. But Carolina has the draft capital and several young studs to offer up in a trade for a top-level QB. After two rather uninspiring years to begin the rule era, it's time to go all in for a QB that will bring this franchise back to prominence. San Francisco 49ers Kyle Shanahan isn't willing to outright say it, but everyone knows that this is Trey Lance's team in 2022 and beyond. When healthy, Garoppolo has been a serviceable, above-average starter in San Francisco. Well, not to be Captain Obvious here, but uh, you're not giving up three first-round picks and a third-rounder for a guy you don't plan to start for two years. The 49ers didn't want to settle on being just good with Jimmy G over the long haul. They aimed for the stars and gambled everything on Lance, who has extreme upsides in a deadly dual threat game that should mesh well with the offense Shanahan runs. Garoppolo's strong play in 2021 should increase his trade value. GM John Lynch may even be able to get a few teams into a bidding war for his services. But either way, I would not expect to see Jimmy G in a Niners uniform when training camps open in 2022. Houston Texans Deshaun Watson will be traded at some point in the 2022 offseason, and the expectations are that they'll recoup an abundance of high draft picks. From there, you'd have to think that the Texans will use one of those picks, or their own first rounder, to draft their next starting quarterback. Again, this is not a strong QB class. Houston would probably be better off taking the best player available when they pick which will be in the top five somewhere. So if they landed additional first rounders in 2022, it wouldn't be a surprise if they used one of them on their next QB instead. Because let's be real, this roster is terrible and the franchise is not in a position to trade for a veteran or throw a bunch of money at someone in free agency. Houston would be much better off drafting and developing a new signal caller. Tyrod Taylor isn't your long-term answer and Davis Mills isn't the guy either. Denver Broncos Teddy Bridgewater has provided some stability at the QB position for the Broncos. He's not making the dumb decisions, and he's mostly safe with the football. But it's pretty clear that the former Minnesota Vikings starter is only a short-term option here. The Bronco offense has way too many talented skill position guys for this unit to be as mediocre as it is. This group should be elite with guys like Jerry Judy, Tim Patrick, Noah Fant, Melvin Gordon, Cortland Sutton, and Javante Williams. If Wilson, Watson, or even Aaron Rodgers hit the trade block, expect the Broncos to make a serious push for them. If he can't make a deal for either, Denver GM George Payton could eye cheaper options like Garoppolo or even Winston. Bridgewater is limited as a downfield passer, and the Broncos need someone who can consistently extend the play and hit the home run balls. This is a super talented roster that is one QB upgrade away from returning to championship contention. The draft is always an option, but the smart call would be for Peyton to bring in a proven veteran to carry this offense. Detroit Lions the Lions took on Jared Goff's mammoth contract as a part of the Matthew Stafford blockbuster trade with the Los Angeles Rams. Everybody knew from day one that Goff was simply serving as a bridge to the next Detroit QB. The week's supporting cast around the 2016 first overall pick unfortunately gave Goff no chance of succeeding in Motor City. Detroit holds the Rams' 2022 and 2023 first round picks, so they can 
absolutely take a chance on a QB in the upcoming draft. Like Houston, Detroit is in the midst of a massive rebuild with roster flaws all over the place. They simply aren't in a position to trade for someone like Wilson or Watson. So the best option is to find your next starter in the draft. Zero chance the Lions take a QB with their own 2022 first rounder. They gotta stay locked in on Kayvon Thibodeau and Aiden Hutchinson. But with the first rounder they obtained from the Rams, that's a pick they could use on someone like Malik Willis, Kenny Pickett, Sam Howell, or Desmond Ritter. Washington football team. Taylor Heineke has been a nice feel-good story for Washington, but with so many quality veterans set to hit the trade block and free agent market, how could Ron Rivera and company not seek an upgrade? This has a team with three quality skill position guys on offense in Terry McLaurin, Antonio Gibson, and Logan Thomas. The sky's the limit for Jack Del Rio's defense. In a lackluster NFC East, Washington could emerge as the team to beat if they could find a reliable quarterback. Maybe you don't break the bank and trade for a superstar like Wilson or Watson, but Garoppolo could come at a decent price, and his game manager skills would work perfectly in Rivera's offense. Drafting a QB would also be an option, though Washington's inability to develop franchise signal callers under Dan Snyder's ownership is concerning. They'd probably be better off finding an established veteran, especially with the rest of the roster looking like it's in win-now mode. New York Giants The Giants made the risky decision to draft running back Saquon Barkley with the number two selection in 2018, even though a successor to Eli Manning was clearly the main organizational need. But nope. GM Dave Gettleman took Barkley, who unfortunately has not been able to stay healthy over the last three years. The Giants passed on two future superstars and Josh Allen and Lamar Jackson, although there's also the chance that they could have struck out on a guy like Josh Rosen or Sam Darnold. The point is, drafting Barkley was a huge mistake. It led to the Giants making another terrible draft miscue the following year, reaching for Daniel Jones at number six overall. Jones has been a bust through his first three years. They've seemingly tried everything at this point. New coaches, different offensive coordinators, new playmakers each year, none of it has worked. Jones is consistently shooting his team in the foot with his subpar accuracy and his inability to take care of the football. At some point, enough is enough. If we're the Giants, we're going all in on the Wilson and Watson sweepstakes. Wilson has been linked to the Giants before. There's a rumor that maybe you could be maybe signing with the New York Giants. I'm just saying, I just heard a rumor about I'm this. not sure if it's... <laughs> I'm not sure if the Seahawks are going to let me get away. And we are sure he would maximize the talent around him. The Giants shouldn't even think about drafting a QB with their first round pick. They need to trade that pick and every other pick they own if they have to. Whatever it takes to get Russell Wilson or Deshaun Watson. Anything less than one of those guys would be a failure. But what other NFL teams do you think will have a new starting quarterback in 2022? Join us in the comment section below. If you like this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps out a ton. And hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>